What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Jazzy Man, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. And, uh, haven't done anything in between episodes, I don't think. I don't think so. But, um, we're going to the junkyard today. Not right away. We're going to make a bit more money. I don't think so. Because I'd like to be at around 30k before we go to the junkyard. That way we have somebody to play with and get our first project card that we're going to restore. So, let's jump right into it. <clears throat> uh, just got home from work. Tired. Made dinner already, though. Had poke chops. They were so good. So good. I right, got a couple cars picked out for us. And then, of course, we're going to do this, a story mission. And then we'll head to the junkyard. Pick us out a car for restoration. All right. Got this van here. Brakes and it is loud. So let's get her inside. Actually, I guess we can go to test path first. <clears throat> Ooh, she doesn't want to start apparently. Nice van. Need to paint free 10 millimeter socket to the side and get all the car people to come to the van. You know? <laughs> Hashtag you get that joke. You get that joke. Jesus, look at that. What, did you roll this thing? There's your sound. There's a coupler right there. And, uh, yuck, yuck. Can I should open the back? We can! Can I get in the back? Can I jump? I don't think I can jump. <laughs> Maybe one to I could bee hop into it. <clears throat> Back inside. To car lifter number one. But I, I, I can see what the part is. It's off my Caliper, disc, disfinillated pad. Oh, well, here's our caliper. There's our disfinillated. So, I've been thinking how we're going to do this. I still want to do the story missions along with the restoration. Thinking, uh, we are gonna do like one episode restoration. Next episode, um, story, kind of thing. That way, kind of goes back and forth between the two. And seeing how that works out. Let me know what y'all think. I need to pad my calipers. So. 
Ah, it's so nice that it's bright and vibrant in this room now. Not just all dull and... No, let's get back. Break this. We can do the back. <clears throat> I don't even know if you were to back out, but I don't think you were, but... Two sixty five, two sixty five. Ah, ha! There is a difference. Or these in the back, the sixty five. See, I've learned. I've learned. <laughs> Acceptable, it was. Like a boss. Let's go! MLG! <laughs> right. MLG car mechanic simulator. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is just body part. It is. Okay. Y'all know how I like to do this, just take it everything off. And if it's trash, well now we know what to replace. Okay, so on the car Minimum condition is 74. So anything below 74% or 73 and below, we have to replace. Okay. So we're going to sort by condition. Okay. So we're starting here. So all these things have to be replaced. together.
Okay, so that's part of the car. Is it? Yes, okay. That's everything. All right. Anything here selling worthy? Sweet. Let's go ahead and grab this. <clears throat> hey. Hi. So, yeah. I bought the car from my dad. Kind of doesn't know about it because he's on a business trip and you see it happened. But I was driving home at night, and uh, something jumped out in front of the car. I was driving very slowly. It really was. I didn't manage to brake. Uh, you could see the results of that in front of you. The car was thrown around a bit. But it cannot be that bad. Can it? Please do what you have to to cover up the tracks. My father will hate me if he realizes that I messed around with his gym. It's his beloved car. Please make it quick. Okay. <laughs> Do this as slow as possible. Oh my. Hey, so this one actually requires us to use the paint booth. Yay. To be fair, none of that looks that bad. Down here, though, when we start looking at the... So you said you hit something. How was this effed up? <laughs> okay, let's run some tests. <laughs> uh, well, he forgot to tell me he hit it going backwards. <laughs> I thought he hooked up the tire. And um, for those wondering why I decided to do the story episode instead of restoration first, is because before going to the junkyard, I wanted to have above 30k before I started a restoration project. Why? That way I have a nice cushion to actually do the restoration and still have money left over. Just in case I don't actually have enough money to finish the restoration, I can do. I have enough money to do project cars, so I don't put myself in the hole. Can I get what I'm saying? That was my whole logic behind it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is thundering outside. I don't think it's anything electrical, really. I just want to check the tires. That's fine. That's fine. That one. Worst for well. Oh, we got a bad one. We got a bad one. Let's go ahead and do fuel pressure. Be safe. Oh, that seems like a good flame, though. I'll take it to the test track real quick. One thing I found is that the test path does not give me as much info as the test track. Um, no engine roll. Turn not to change the oil. I do. There's a lot of shit wrong with this car, so I'm just gonna. I'll take the sacrifice. What's wrong with you? 
why you know start. Why you know start? It's kind of stupid. But, uh, that looks clean in there. Relays are all good. Why do you know start? Is it because it is it because of the bad old filter? I wonder if it is because of the bad oil filter. I'll just fucking find that out. That'd be a bitch, wouldn't it? Like, oh, we got a bad oil filter, so we can't start. Stupid. Well, that's of course he fucked his chart. Starter up. Or starter on this one. No, starter's fine. I know I'm doing this completely wrong, but none of my tests, why did I type in V8, came back with anything about the engine, so it makes me interested in why it would start. See, now if I try to take it to the test track, coolant fluid missing, check mark, that's a water support, try the car. Change coolant. So that's those tasks. Right. Okay. It was the actual filter. Okay. Good to know that an old filter. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I can see why I was surprised by this thing handles perfect. Oh well, not perfect, but she is injured, so. She's got decent braking, give her that. Oh well, yeah, I like that. That should give us a few more issues that is wrong with the car, which I'm going to assume has a lot to do with that rear end. Jesus. That rear end looked like poo. Not give us any everything. So we're gonna use the test path. Alright. Why not? See if we can't get us a few more things. Oh, we got this equipment. Oh. I'm 
mean, I knew that back right was fucked. a few more things. I don't see any new red up here. It is back here. If you notice, there's still a lot of stuff that's not actually. Is that the battery? The battery's in the back. Okay. And of course, obviously, it didn't tell us what the rim, which we know that rim is garbage because we like to leave this over here. And that rim is poop. So is that tire. And there's a few other parts in there to examine, which we'll get to. Let's move her back. Um, so I don't think we actually need to get... Do we need to get under the hood? I don't think we do. Under the hood's pretty pristine. Let's check just to be sure, though. No, I think we're good. That's the case. I'm gonna go ahead and raise her all the way up. And we'll get the oil out of her. Fresh oil I just put in it. I know. I know. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, have fresh clean oil. Yeah, it's peeing. Let's rip this rear end out. I'm just going to rip it all out. This entire side. Why can I not rip you out? I love bearing. And that has given us everything. things first, separate these two parts, because they are both trash. We need a race tire, 235, 35, and 18. Race tire, 235, 35, 18.
Okay. Sort by condition. Put it all back together, shall we? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'm down! Put fresh oil in it. That should complete that task. Yep. Let's move you to the paint booth. Actually. Much better. Now the paint shop. Front bumper. Front left fender, front right fender. Rear bumper. Rear right headlight B. Okay. Rear bumper B. That's it.
before I do this, spray with factory color. Factory. This is what I wanted. Factory. Can I let it? Oh. That's all I wanted. Unless. Wait. Okay. Oh, it's all red. Huh. Well, hold on. There's some things here that'll still sell. Oh, well, maybe not that. Okay. Oh, I bet that room will still sell. Oh, that tire. That's a decent amount. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. Wow. All right. Oh. 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 Meh. All right. All right. All right. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Different sound effects for each one, all right? Yeah. Oh. Meh. And all right. <laughs> but anyways, ladies and gents, I think it's time. Let's check out a junkyard. Again. Barn finds. That's that stuff's gonna be expensive. So, oh, hold on. Where we go? We got this. I want to open a case. Go some luck here. Another case. I like this. Okay. Okay. Go on this one. Credits. All right. And you don't run next to it. Another case. All right. Now I'm feeling this one. Oh, let's go opposite. Oh. Going very middle. Opposite. Okay. Let's go find our first project, Cariel. In the junkyard. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to try to keep it. Under 10k, 15 max. I want, but I would like to keep it under 10, 10 to 15. I'm okay with, depending on the car. <clears throat> oh man. We're here, got an achievement. Welcome to the world of junk. Alright. Y'all got a case? You don't got a case, I don't care then. Y'all got a case? No, don't care. Oh. Case? Case. Oh, I'll take that. That that's useful. I haven't seen a car yet. Oh. Oh, I 
I'll take a couple cars. Six K. What engines in you? V six. You don't have any swap options. Okay. I'll think about it. What about you? Eight K. You're V8. Oh, you're so pretty. Okay. You're on top now. Neither of these are cars, right? car no. No. only two in this entire junkyard are you serious it's kind of disappointing Fastback. A green fastback. Oh my god, that sends you back to 2018. How much? 11k. Y'all remember my first restoration in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 was a fastback. <clears throat> Bright green. But for 11k, I. We're going to skip on that. Unless I find something cray cray. Hellcats are choice. I don't see anything over there, so. Looking at all these stacks here to see if there's a car like up on the rack. Don't really see anything. So I think. Hellcat It's our vehicle of choice Y'all 8k Piece of junk Turn to garage
but she has to be outside. Yep. It's got all four wheels. She's got a decent engine her, that V8 one carb. I think we'll just redo that engine. Could try to upgrade it to the two car V8 OHV. Don't want to do supercharged, so. Alright. Let's move on to that lifter. Lifter 2 is finally getting some action. There she is. My first project car. Get her done, stripped, and restored in the next episode, y'all. We still got a little bit of time. What calls do we got? Say one last car and get her done. Call an episode. Makes all gearbox problems. All right, let's get her inside. I think we only had one issue, right? So the gearbox I-4. Let's go over there. Can't wait till we rebuild her. It's gonna be fun, y'all. Oh man, and we don't have any uh, skill points, do we? No. Another fast one we can do. <laughs> Just the same car. Mm. Yeah. Let's knock this out. by condition everything below 69 percent
think I changed that a lot more than I needed to. Yeah, I lost money. <laughs> I need to pay more attention to those. Oh well. That's what I get for trying to do shit the lazy way. But anyway, this is our future. stuff missing from her just from looking at that but that's gonna be fun but anyways ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for joining me for another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 it's been great look forward to us redoing our Hellcat 1970 Hellcat the next one as always Enjoy y'all being here. Stay jazzy.